Should you buy two HDMI video capture cards for live streaming? So I've done a few videos about these cheap HDMI video capture cards. Can you use two of them at the same time is a good question. So I'm basically responding to loads of comments that have come up in the videos that I've done. I've done a full guide about how to use and set up the HDMI video capture card. I'll link to that in the cards. In the description, you'll find links to pick up these HDMI capture cards. I know it's been difficult to pick them up, but today in this video, I'm going to give you a, a full on breakdown. In the past, I did that video where I put loads of chapters together and gave you like a full guide. This one is going to be about doing multiple cameras. So multiple cameras is something that can help you. Can you use two video capture cards at once? I'm going to cover that. In the video chapters, I'll put links so you can skip to the bit you want to be looking at. You might not want to watch the whole thing, which is fine. Uh, can you set up two cameras with HDMI capture cards? How to set up HDMI capture card with two cameras? I'm going to show you this on OBS. I'll show you the benefit of it. Before we go further, let me show you what it looks like. So for example, let me show you this video. I made this video Hello and for another to channel. Tech today. We're and that not channel, tech. you can see I'm using two watches, some gadgets. Two cameras. So I've got one some is a HDMI here. Canon. Yeah. One is a HDMI Panasonic from, uh, one uh, camcorder. So that's why it's good because be you can do live sessions. Watch. So look at this. But if you're here, that, you can do live sessions watch. and show multiple like views of stuff. Which that was the Mudmaster ripoff watch that I did a thing on. Uh, you can do other things. So, for example, let me not show you that right now. Let me show you my screen. So, top down shots. So, that is a Panasonic camera facing down on my desk. And then I can skip between that and then do a front view and show you me speaking about the item. So, you got two cameras. So, it's good for videos. It makes your workflow a lot easier. I record everything into OBS directly. So what you're seeing now is one take. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. Tough. It's one of those. It's like, you know what, I'm going to get the video out there. If it helps people, which it looks like it has been because the video capture cards, people asking a lot of questions. So I want to be able to give you quick answers. And this makes it a bit more interesting because I can show you stuff while I'm doing it and like switch between cameras live, which is handy. Um, so there's different scenarios like tablets. I use that. I show you the like how to set it up on an Android device, which I did a separate video on. So that's the idea behind it. That's like a summary. But now I'll get into the sections of setting it up. So this this title is probably going to be: Can you use two video capture cards at once? Yes, you can use two HDMI video capture cards at once. These are USB powered. You plug them into your USB on your computer. And then it gives you an input of a HDMI. So if you have two cameras, like in the thumbnail of this video, I've got two camcorders. Well, I've got a camcorder and a, a Canon camera. They both have HDMI outs, which allows me to plug these into my computer twice. I've got a number of these now, so they're quite handy. Um, and it gives me multiple languages. For gameplay, you can use one for your console to show the gameplay footage, you can use one for your face, like in the corner. So it's quite handy for that. Um, how to set it up. So how do you set up multiple cameras for live streaming? You want one camera on a tripod, like I've got just now, which faces you. You can have a secondary camera on the right hand side on a tripod out of shot and focused in on your desk. If you're doing a desk shot, that is. You can have it on a top down shot, separate videos about all of that stuff. Can you set up two cameras with HDMI capture cards? You can. How do you do it? How to set up multiple cameras for live streaming? You're going to need a software. I've got another uh, video about how to make webcams uh, for streaming, how to stream and stuff. So I'll link you to that in the card somewhere maybe. Um, so if I show you my OBS screen, we'll talk you through how to set it up. So OBS HDMI. Right now, that is my sources screen on Streamlabs OBS. You can see I have my display capture, which is showing you what I'm doing. I add a source. Once I add a source, I go to video capture device. You select that and you do add source. Once you add source there, what will happen is it will allow you to pick a new camera source. So I'm adding a new one. I'll call it HDMI one. And let's call it one as in the letter one would be better, wouldn't it? Okay, there. I'll add source and then it comes to a screen. Once your USB devices are plugged into your computer, it'll give you there. See that USB, USB video? That is both of those cards. If I had three, it'll show me three. 
as long as you've got the USBs on your computer or laptop, you're fine. So there's HDMI 1. I can turn it on and off by the eye. Depends how familiar you are with OBS. I might do a separate video if that's something you want to know about. So, okay, next one I'll do again. I want to add a video capture device. Add source. Do a new source. Let's call it a new name. So I'll call this one HDMI 2. So for the second camera, just remember which one is which. So when you're switching between them, it's a bit more nicer for the viewer so here i picked the second one so right there i've been able to add that done and i have two cameras one and two so that shows you how easy it is to add in obs and what that allows you to do is you can just untick it while you're doing a session so i'm right now i'm recording the video i can just click and show you a different view which is handy so that's how to set it up that's why you would set it up it might be worth picking up multiple uh, hdmi video capture cards because if you're in the game of making like talking videos about products about stuff like i do so i talk about photography stuff so sometimes i show my camera i show the settings i show like a flash i saw my desk all those things are very handy for video capture cards so that will answer all your questions if you should buy two if they work which i i've tested and it does work you can have two of them well you can have three in theory because i've got three at the moment so yeah as long as you've got the usb devices you can buy usb extending hubs which lets you use more of them just remember when you plug these into the drive they're kind of quite thick so it'd be hard to plug them next to each other so you can get little extension cables for usb which plug in and make it a lot easier um so that answers your question about can you use them i've got a whole playlist dedicated to to these video capture cards check the description for the notes and also the chapters will have everything broken down so i'm hoping you find this useful but what i will do is i'll link you to another playlist of all of these videos which will help you kind of get through the journey and the webcam journey